Good morning, Monday morning. Still having problems starting the van due to excessive moisture and um, humidity. It's been, it's been easier to start the past couple of weeks and some days it's just fine, but the more it rains and the higher the humidity, the worse it gets and of course it's Monday morning I gotta get the hell out of here and uh, just wore out my battery and threw my trolling motor battery on and it wasn't charged because I was fishing yesterday and haven't recharged the trolling motor battery and I should have been fixing the damn van anyway stuck in the water here i got more friggin batteries i might give it a quick shot and see or i'm just gonna have to tear it apart and do the service bulletin fix and see what the hell happens the biggest problem is tearing this damn thing apart total pain in the ass to get this dog house off and out because i got this freaking mess behind me and uh that's not the only reason but it's just a pain in the butt it's not like you can just lift the hood up pull the distributor cap off and blah 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 so you gotta tear this whole thing apart excuse the french all right so i managed to get it a little cleaned up here which i needed to do anyway and uh let's we'll start pulling this puppy out got to back that seat up over there as far as she goes both of them and bonus man found some candy yummy it's all melted okay so speaking of all melted it's like nine o'clock we're already in the 80s sweating my ass off so get this thing done Okay, so I don't even know where I'm at on this recording. Was the camera on? Was the camera off? Anyway, if you look right here at the two screws and the top here on this, whatever the hell you call that thing, um, you can see rust right there. That screw rusty. That screw over there rusty. The top of this has a. a you know spot of rust and that's your freaking moisture getting in there and uh, there's also a bunch of other crap in there but that just fell off of this hose a minute ago anyway this thing's turned into an old greasy mess down there and these gaskets and all right, so I'm going to go look up the bulletin before I freaking pull this thing, do anything else, and see just what's going on. All right, so I just checked the service bulletin, and there's a guy that put a video up. And he just explains how to do it. He doesn't show you how to do it. <coughs> but he says don't take the, the, the whole thing out. He says just feel under here. And you'll feel 
the vents and that they get plugged and you drill them he said just feel under there put your finger in, you know under there and, and then drill through the top now shit how in the hell am I going right to do that and but on the bottom there I don't feel any kind of a freaking hole there's the other hole over there come on camera you freaking going screensaver on me anyway there's the other hole over there let me double check that and uh, yeah that's it so where the screens are and, and stuff well maybe there is maybe there is something there I, I, I don't feel anything down there though anyway I'm gonna try and drill it out see what the hell happens clean it out drill it out and everything and uh, go from there all right so now I just started drilling just a few little you know nothing really just a few turns on the drill and you can see down here the uh, pieces were just falling right through so there definitely has to be an opening there I just couldn't feel it with my fingers and uh, it's falling out and my drills dying <laughs> Ah, never fails, right? Put this thing on a higher speed. Or am I on a higher speed? Nope. There you go. Alright. Trying to stay straight here. I got that big freaking hose up there. Alright, I'm through. And like I said, damn battery died. Let me swap out the bat. Oh. Alright, let's see if I can get in over here on this side. I don't know if I can... Hold on. Alright, I'm in. fast with the with the drill the battery fresh battery all right so now that's supposed to be it man I'm going to uh, get the vacuum and clean up all those little metal particles don't have my shop vac so I'll have to get the old house vac out a little portable Thingy. Let me get that and do that. I'm a sweater baby. It's a sweating hot out here. My mother was a sweater. My father was a sweater. Come from a long line of sweaters. Alright, so. Now I've got to put this back screw in before I do anything. Get this baby. Find up. 
Anyway, I think I was saying before, I didn't put any Loctite on the screws and stuff because I'm going to replace this this weekend coming up next weekend and uh, get my plugs finally done and stop screwing around here. Number four. This one, number six. And if you watch the other video, the first part of this, I put a new coil in here. Uh, kiss for you. Number five. Uh, that's right there. Number one. It's in the middle. And number three. back together plug up now let's see if that battery's charged up Ugh. I'm telling you pain in the ass yeah it's down there but uh let's give it a shot and see what happens let me disconnect this Give it a shot, baby. Ooh Everything's back, right? Wires, keys in. how it's been starting. Maybe not quite that quick, but that's how it's been starting since I made the last video about this shit. So it didn't start up instantly. Um, we'll just see how it goes because once it starts the rest of the day, it's fine. Like nothing's wrong once it starts, it dries out, it's fine. So it's drilled out, that's the procedure, nothing else I can do. Um, as far as the service bulletin goes, if I drilled it out, then the screens must be out. Were they clogged? I don't know. Um, I don't know. But it's definitely time to get the plugs changed. And uh, we're just going to keep an eye on this and go from there. Thank God I'm up and running though. Alright, i got to clean up this mess and, and get to freaking work today and make a couple of freaking dollars. Uh, Okay, so yesterday I did the van according to the service bulletin. Drilled out the vents, supposed to eliminate the humidity, moisture. Um, and like I said, once it starts and warms up, it's fine the rest of the day. So as you can see, it's just, I mean, the ground out here is just saturated. It's been raining like hell every day. And also, like I said, 
the longer the van sits, the worse it gets. That's why yesterday ran the battery down. All right, so here's the test. And uh, turn everything off. And then turn my lights off. One, two, three, four. On that stupid thing. And here we go. Boom, baby. <laughs> it worked. It freaking fracking worked. Holy mackerel. I can't freaking believe it. Huh. I'm going to tell you, I mean, I never, you know, I've had this van a couple years now. And last year was nowhere near as bad as this year. And maybe it's because, you know, where I'm parking, I'm in the grass, you know, more moisture. I don't know. Anyway, it freaking worked. Hallelujah. Holy moly macaroni wow you know the